Today on Hands On Wellness, I'm gonna take a look at the blood glucose. Well, not necessarily yours, but I have a continuous glucose monitoring system that I'd like to share with you. And I think it's got a lot of nerdy data inside of it that just might be helpful for you. Stay tuned. Hands On Wellness is brought to you from LastPass Studios. Using the same password everywhere is a security nightmare waiting to happen. LastPass puts you in control of your online life by storing all of your unique passwords in a secure encrypted vault. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. This is Twit. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Ant Pruitt. This is Hands On Wellness here on Twit TV. I hope y'all are doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. This is the podcast where I like to share with you different technology and different tips, more so technology, <laughs> that's going to help you get a better grip on your personal wellness. Personal wellness is really, really important to me. Um, I, I, so I, I like to try to take what I know and have learned and share it with you all. I'm never going to claim to be a big certified um, nutritionist or certified um, medical professional or anything like that. I just go by my own experiences as well as take a look at some of the tech that's been out there that offers some pretty good stuff. But yeah, this is the show for you if you're looking to get a better grip on your personal wellness. Now, First off, I want to say thank you for joining me each and every week. And if this is your first time hopping in, go ahead and just hit the website and see all of our subscription options. That's twit.tv slash how. It's twit.tv slash H-O-W for hands on wellness. And you'll see all of our subscription options there as well as our previous show episodes and uh, all of the different show notes and information. Thank you for checking that out. And thank you for helping to grow the hands on wellness community. So now let's go ahead and get started with this week's show. So I'm not going to take up a lot of your time. At least I'll try not to. Today, I want to talk about dieting a little bit. Well, in a sense, dieting. It's more so about your um, blood glucose and uh, continuous glucose monitoring systems. And what the heck is that? Well, this is a tool that is particularly used for people that are diabetic or hypoglycemic, where their blood sugar is extremely low or their blood sugar is extremely high. And they're trying to find the different factors that's causing uh, their blood sugar to to act that way from a metabolic standpoint. And so a lot of times you see uh, people getting their fingers pricked and doing the little blood uh, blood drops and getting getting it read through a machine and things like that. And fortunately, there's some tech advances that have uh, really made that a much simpler and a little less uh, painful process for people out there that have to have their blood glucose monitored on a regular basis. And I'm going to talk about two, two different products today, but one of them is the main thing I wanted to get to, but it doesn't necessarily work without the other. So let's start with part one. Part two is my main idea, but part one is, is required. And that's an actual continuous glucose monitoring system. Uh, you may have seen some commercials for this one. This is a freestyle Libra system and it has a tiny little, little needle or a little, like a little finger prick needle on it. And it, you just stick that into your arm and you can see it has some uh, electronics in here that's basically going to allow you to get a scan of your blood sugar instantly by having your phone just tap it with the uh, NFC connection. It's really, really nice. The app is pretty straightforward. It just gives you the basis of uh, what you scan. And, you know, this right here is just from way back on the 21st. I started playing around with this right around right around the Thanksgiving holidays. And you can see my testing and my readings are quite interesting, to say the least, uh, for that particular day. And if you go through it, you can put in different notes as far as uh, what did I do? I, what, what did I eat at the time? Didn't have lunch yet, as it says here on my screen. Or this was when I had a snack and I had a donut. And if you look at this little little graph here, I had a donut and I waited for a little while just to see what happened before I did the scan. And you notice there's a spike right there because hmm, lots of sugar inside of a donut. And that can really make a difference in some people's uh, blood glucose measurements and some with some people's metabolism. But yeah, this is a pretty neat, neat little device that I think it's great for people that are 
diabetic and it's just going to be way more convenient to help them monitor their blood glucose. Now, what does that have to do with part two? Now, part two is a company called Level. So what what does What does levels have to do with part one? Well, what they're doing is they're taking that information, the the different measurements for your blood glucose levels and giving you an an analysis in it. That's a little bit beyond what you saw here with this first app. Yeah, you can see the spikes and the drops and all of that, but they're breaking it down to help you understand more so the why on that. And there's even more information as far as the why goes, because you can use that to help figure out things like um, better performance as far as being a professional athlete or just someone trying to stay in shape. Um, And it even lets you look at why your body will react a certain way to certain foods versus someone else. For example, I I mentioned eating a donut a few minutes ago. And when I ate ate that donut, you could see on the chart the the blood sugar level just spiked up pretty high. There are some people with different metabolisms where that really wouldn't even happen. It would just sort of be a level measurement for them. And this is something that's going to let you see that. So as you can see on the screen, this was from November 21st when I was pretty much just getting started with doing the scans of myself um, and, and trying to figure out what's going on with my blood glucose. And the beauty of this is it it has to calibrate to understand exactly who you are. So if you look at this first day here, that's a Saturday and it's color coded with this sort of a pinkish reddish color. The Sunday is color coded green. And that's because it I had a much better measurement that day. At least that's what it assumed. But it takes it a couple of days to try to get you figured out. And it actually did a pretty good job of figuring out exactly how my metabolism is going and and giving me more precise measurements. And you see you have this metabolic score here, and this says 61%, which is not very good. You'd like to get something a little bit higher, closer to the 80s or so. Uh, And that's why, again, it's color-coded like that. The app will also guide you through some insights to let you know, hey, you know, you this is why that number is the way it is. And this is some of the things that you can do to help get better performance with that uh, particular number. These insights will be a little bit more helpful if you can add in different activities, such as understanding, um, such as uh, logging what you ate in particular, as well as logging uh, different types of exercises and things that you did. And it takes that information in and try to figure out, okay, well, if they've done, if they did 30 minutes of doing push-ups and squats and just, you know, some home calisthenics, we should have a reading of so-and-so or X, Y, Z. And it did a good job of, of just understanding, OK, yeah, he's probably more active right now. Um, so he's going to be pretty pumped up and has this has this fuel running uh, and needing his fuel. So he's going to deplete a lot faster at this particular time or day. Uh, I, I really did think this was pretty smart. Um just from the way that they gave you all of this additional information in here about metabolism, because there's so many different myths about metabolism and everybody's assuming that, you know what, my metabolism is better than yours because I'm skinnier than you, you know, and that's not always the case. It's a lot of different things from a a biological standpoint that affects this. And they do a good job of letting you know where you are and where you need to be to get to a more optimal level for your particular body. Now, the good news and the bad news. The good news is this is some pretty neat tech. It is. The bad news is it's currently in beta right now. I was able to get early access to this to try this out. Uh, You can finally get your hands on this early in 2021 after they complete all of the beta testing. But from what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing, everything is looking pretty good and being on par. Now, once you're able to get your hands on this publicly, what does that mean? How do you go about doing it? You need to be able to get a glucose um, monitor, a CGM, continuous glucose monitor, something like this uh, Freestyle Libra. Depending on your your scenario, health insurance can cover these from a prescription standpoint, because this is essentially getting a prescription 
as well as uh, if you're old enough or qualify for Medicare, a lot of diabetic Medicare patients uh, can get these things pretty easily. Else, a package for a month is going to cost you about $400. Uh, you get the two different monitors in here, and it'll cost you about $400 to um, get this, the sensors working and get the data out of it. Now, once you get your hands on one of these little sensors, it's a pretty simple process of just applying it to your skin. I know it has this little needle on the back and you, you think it's going to be a painful process. It's not. Uh, I don't care how wimpy you are. It's not <laughs> going to hurt. Quite frankly, the process of putting it into its little holder and, and applicator to smack it onto your arm, essentially, that was a lot louder and it sounded like like it was going to hurt when it applied it to my arm. It didn't. I didn't feel a thing. So don't worry about pain or anything like that. Uh, it is a uh, waterproof so you can shower with it or anything like that. It level sends you a sticker to sort of protect it and keep it from getting caught on shirt sleeves and things like that. And uh, again, I wore it for about two weeks and didn't quite realize that I had it on the whole time. It's just, it was just there. And whenever I needed to get a reading, I just grabbed my smartphone and just tapped it with my smartphone and the reading was done. Didn't have to think anything else about it. If I wanted to add some notes, I could, but it was a really simple process and it really did give some nice insight on what was going on from a metabolic standpoint as far as my um, blood gl glucose levels. Again, you can try this out here in early 2021. Uh, stay tuned for more information from the folks at Levels Health. We have a link in the show notes to their website where you can continue to follow up on this progress. I think this is going to be a good idea for people not only trying to monitor their blood glucose, but people that are just trying to find the perfect balance on what's going to help them get better sleep, what's going to help them with uh, better recovery for a workout, what's going to help them with being able to know what foods to eat and when to eat certain foods to be able to go and perform for whatever physical activity they're getting ready to do. It's a lot of different data points in there, and I think that's pretty daggum cool. All right. So that's going to do it for this week, folks. Thank you so much for watching Hands on Wellness. Feel free to give me a follow over on Twitter. I am Ant underscore Pruitt or um, follow me on Instagram at Ant underscore Pruitt and just tag me with any questions you may have regarding personal wellness. And uh, if you want to send some feedback to the show, you can send some feedback at how at twit.tv. And I'll be more than happy to answer all of those emails and follow up with you there the old school way email. <laughs> you all take care. And I look forward to talking to you next time here on Hands on Wellness. Now safely, be well and do well. Y'all take care. One more twit? Well, you gotta check out iOS Today. That's the show where Leo Laporte and I cover everything you need to know about iOS. It's the best apps, the best games, and everything you can do with your iPad, your iPhone, and your Apple Watch, plus car kit, and so much more. twit.tv slash iOS.